Hello everyone. Welcome to the Hypergamous Journey. My name is Denise. So I wanted to do a follow-up video to the one that I did entitled, I just had a friendly dinner date and let you know what has transpired, transpired with that. Um, that friendly dinner date and to now. Nothing. <laughs> Not a thing. Nothing has transpired. Nothing became of it. And I was able to tell that pretty quickly. It was a it was a good friendly dinner date. He called once, left a message. And then he is the one that said, H-R-U. Those three letters that I used in one of the, um, one or two videos back. Oh yeah, the video that's entitled texting versus calling. So he called once, didn't leave a message. Then he texts H-R-U. How are you? And then I never heard from him again. So I had already told him that I don't accept days by texting. And I didn't, and he didn't leave a message when he called. So I don't go scrolling through my missed calls to see if any of my suitors have called me. Because I believe that if they call and don't leave a message, it could be a mistake. And so some people think I'm being petty. Some of my friends have have pretty much said that without saying it. Some of them think I'm being petty. They think I should call him back just to check in, but none of that shit works, okay? It just doesn't work. He knows that he needs to leave a message if he really wants to talk to you. He knows it. He doesn't care to talk to you. If you pick up the phone when he calls, he'll talk to you then. But if he doesn't leave a message, he doesn't want to. He doesn't want to. He could just be scrolling through his phone and decide at four o'clock he's going to call all the women that he's met. And if they pick up, he'll speak to them. And if they don't, then he'll just hang up and go on to the next one. Men who, I firmly believe this, men who really want to talk to me will leave a message to let me know that they've called and they want to hear from me. And if I don't call them back, they will call and call or leave a message eventually. If they don't, they don't want to hear from me. And this gentleman called once, didn't leave a message, text me, H-R-U, not even a question mark at the end. And then I haven't heard from him. So, bye-bye. Thank you for the seafood dinner. I appreciate it. Nice conversation. So, I did have two suitors, now I only have one. And as I said in, in a video back that I have been, um, a date has been arranged for me by It's Just Lunch and we go next Friday. Um, and It's Just Lunch gets you matches and they set up the lunch date for you. You give them your availability, but they will select the restaurant make the reservation, give you that information, and then you meet at the restaurant on the agreed upon time. The um, hostess will have the reservation and your name. It's really easy. And so it's a service that I said was an investment in my goal of a hypergamous marriage. So I highly recommend that you get with some dating service, um, it's just lunch has not paid me to say this, that you get with a dating service if your budget allows so that you can meet the kind of hypergamous men that we talk about on this channel. So if you like this video, please like, share, subscribe, Click on the notification bell, check out the statement journals on Amazon, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.